What should you not do the summer before your August SAT? What are some of the fatal traps that I've seen kids fall into um, that ultimately waste time, effort, and uh, maybe even mental sanity? You cannot take endless practice tests. I, I don't care what your parents say, they're wrong. Endless practice test is not gonna improve your score if you're not analyzing the results, if you're not taking them seriously, if you're not learning from them. Just doing a bunch of problems and practice tests is not gonna improve your score uh, by much. Some kids more than others, but it's not, if anything, gonna improve your score to, to its max potential. Don't waste this resource. Use the practice tests every day, split them up, uh, use Khan Academy, split up those passages, split up those grammar passages. Use the math in a way that will be conducive to your weekly practice and not just uh, your mentality of, oh, if I just do a bunch of practice tests, I'm gonna magically improve. Also, don't set unrealistic expectations for yourself. Don't think that I'm gonna go up 5,000 points by studying five hours a day. Because as soon as you start not hitting those goals, you'll start doubting yourself and you'll start feeling like what you're doing isn't working. Besides that, the one day that you slip, the one day you hang out with your friends, the one day that you go on a day trip with your family and you fall off your schedule, you'll start feeling like you're more and more of a failure every minute that goes by that you don't prep. And I've seen this paralysis set in with kids who start saying, I'm gonna study three hours a day, George. I'm like, yeah, okay. And then next, I, I see them the week later. I'm like, so how was your three hour study? They're like, I didn't do anything. And I'm like talking with them. Well, why was that? Why was it that you didn't do anything? They're like, well, I started my first day, I didn't do it. And then the next day I just felt even worse. And then I tried opening a book, but then I just felt depressed. And then I maybe did a few problems and I got some wrong. And I'm like, oh, this is a d terrible disaster. And you tailspin, you fall into a, a death spiral. You need to make sure to set realistic expectations. The same with your actual score improvements. If you don't, if you go up 100 points in a week, that's fantastic, but don't expect it to happen every week. Or if you get, you take a practice test over the summer and then you see your week over week improvement has even gone down, it happens. It's normal. I've seen this with thousands of kids uh, in person. Don't think that this is something that's unique to you or that it's a failure on your part. Don't set unrealistic expectations for yourself. Take it one problem at a time, one passage at a time, one day at a time. Don't start your prep for the summer too early. A lot of people after they take June, they think, oh, that's it. I'm going right on the grind from June 2nd until uh, the August test date at the end of August. That's a really bad idea. A lot of people burn out. A lot of people uh, somewhere in the middle of July start just plateauing and there's no more motivation in order to get over that last month of prep. I always say start after July 4th when you prep even if you want to do a lot of work, even when you expect that you're going to be doing several hours a day of practice, it's okay. Spending a lot of time thinking about the test and worrying about your own thoughts and your own deficiencies and your own, like that only leads to more problems, only leads to spiraling and only leads to more, uh, I think like mental pressure than what is actually necessary for this test. I've seen this also. People buy a bunch of prep books thinking that just buying a bunch of books is gonna magically improve their score. The more prep books that you buy for SAT prep, the less likely you're gonna improve, the less likely your score is gonna increase. In general, it's just true. Make sure to spend quality time with whatever you have. This book or that book or this guy's program or that guy's method is not gonna be the magic bullet answer to your problems. Analyzing your mistakes, understanding the holes in your game, learning what you don't know is.